Mm. I have to do this Alfredo with this hot sauce, you guys. Oh. Yes. Yes. Um. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Definitely not a neat meal. Mm. So if you're worried about being neat, don't try this. There's a lot of thirsty people out there in this world, you guys. Don't care whether you are in a relationship or all the way married. They still will be flirting and trying to get with your old partner, okay? That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no click bait. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Look at this delicious dish, you guys. I cannot wait to dig in. Today I'm doing a Mexican food mukbang and I'm dipping everything in Alfredo sauce, y'all. Sounds crazy, but it is delicious. So before I get into the video, please give it a thumbs up if you guys like it, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm ready to eat, y'all ready? Then let's get into the video. All right, y'all, I am back. Let me tell you what I have today. I have some beef and chicken tacos. I have crab taquitos. This is my first time trying these. And I made some homemade Alfredo sauce. The food I got from a little Mexican restaurant down the street. Also got some chips salsa and some avocado salsa. I'm ready to dig in, y'all. I don't have nothing else to say for now. I'm about to go right for a chicken taco dipped in Alfredo. Now, I saw this done by... Views on the Road and Miss Diversity 3 a collab they did several months ago and I, I did it right after they did it and loved it and I couldn't wait to do it again you guys. It, it's really delicious. Sounds crazy I know. I was a skeptic as well. This is unbelievably good y'all. So, so, so good. Mm-mm-mm. Here you guys, take a bite. Ooh. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Of course, I had to have my Jamaican Scotch bonnet hot sauce. Thanks to Miss Diversity 3, she gave me this. And I have been hooked ever since. I did the Alfredo with um, this hot sauce last time. Oh my God, y'all, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. So, 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 so good. Okay. Who likes chips and salsa? The salsa is really good. Mm. It's perfect. The right amount of everything. <clears throat> hey, when you go to a Mexican restaurant and it's like something missing from the salsa, the salsa is perfect. Mm. Aren't these beautiful, you guys? <laughs> they look like they would be flaming hot Cheeto, but I don't think they are. But these are crab taquitos. I've never tried these, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna dip this right in the Alfredo. I think I'm just gonna take a bite because I wanna see how it tastes. And I wanna go for the middle bite because I wanna taste everything. If you tried this before, let me know if you like it. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. That is delicious. Yes. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay, you guys. I almost didn't get these because I was like, I'm not really a seafood and my Mexican food type person. But this is really good. The meat tastes so good. For some reason, I thought it was going to be dry. Absolutely not. Mm -mm -mm. 
Mm. Y'all know I love sauces, right? I don't even know what I'm gonna dip stuff in. <laughs> mm. I'll definitely be getting those again. Anybody know how to make them homemade? I just don't know what else they put inside of here because it doesn't seem like just the meat. Maybe some onions. I don't know. But the meat is so soft and juicy, y'all. It's really good. The Jamaican Scotch bonnet. Mm-hmm. So today when Tasha and I were talking about what we were going to eat, we both wanted something different. Mexican food is one of my favorites. Her, one of her favorites is Chinese. We both wanted our favorites, so we ended up doing solos today. So y'all will see her, um, you guys will see her Chinese food coming out soon. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, I know a lot of people don't like when we do solos but sometimes we just have to y'all sometimes we don't want to eat the same stuff y'all gotta understand mm. now why she wouldn't want to eat this is beyond me if you guys are new here we normally eat for a little while discuss the food and then we have a topic later today i'm going to be doing a viewer topic very interesting so if you like talking Make sure you stay around for, for that. Okay, I think this is this is probably a topic that um is very relatable. I know I can relate to it. So I'm sure many of you can as well. Mm. And if you guys want to send us any topics or just want to talk personally, you can reach us at Steph and Tasha on Instagram or Facebook. I would advise uh, Instagram because we don't check Facebook as much, honestly. I have to do this Alfredo with this hot sauce, you guys. Oh. Yes. Yes, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. mm. Definitely not a neat meal. Mm. So if you're worried about being neat, don't try this. Mm. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Ooh, that hot sauce got my mouth on fire, y'all. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read the viewer's topic, you guys. It's kind of long, so I might shorten it up a little bit. So if I'm pausing this stuff, bear with me. So my boyfriend, who I consider to be my husband, and I have a great relationship. We have awesome chemistry and we are so emotionally linked. However, we can't seem to get over this huge hurdle that keeps coming back. I had a guy friend, wait, she says I had a guy friend who was just that, a friend, who was also my coworker for a short period of time. I trained him and he was so cool from the jump. He's 20 years older than I am, so I gravitated towards him like a father figure. My boyfriend, who's already insecure, secretly taped me at the house having a conversation with him and this time me and him were having our problems and i found myself venting to my co-worker about it my boyfriend felt like i wasn't talking to him as just a friend ever since then i didn't talk on the phone with him out of respect for my boyfriend even though i know it was nothing to it present day argument arises and boyfriend brings back up this guy I start to, I'm starting to think that he's intimidated by him. Affirmation and assurance, and a year later, he still is not secure. I'm becoming drained and exhausted. Whew, what y'all think about this? This is, I think, a topic that a lot of people probably deal with, you guys. Because we all tend to meet a lot of people at work. Because we're there so much. So you tend to become friends with people and I have people that I'm still friends with that I would work with 
over 10 years ago. Okay. Now, with that being said, there's also a lot of nonsense that be going on at work, okay? I have on several occasions been flirted with by people who were so-called in relationships, been flirted with by people that knew I was in a relationship. And these are all co-workers, you guys. I've seen plenty of affairs that go on at work. I had a friend who had a man at home and she was dealing with somebody at work and every on that, on that lunch break, they would be fooling all the way around, okay? All the way, I heard stories. So this whole work thing is very, very touchy. You gotta have some strong trust in your partner to be okay with these types of situations. You gotta hopefully be with somebody who has integrity and who is uh, loyal and committed to your relationship as well. Now, because I've seen all this, I wouldn't be naive to the fact that someone that my wife is talking to at work might want her, okay? There's a lot of thirsty people out there in this world, you guys. Don't care whether you are in a relationship or all the way married. They still will be flirting and trying to get with your old partner, okay? Everybody feels differently about this subject. Some people are like, oh, no, no, no new friends with my person, especially of the opposite sex or possibly the same sex if you're um, gay or lesbian. They're just like, no new friends. I don't do that shit, right? And then you have some people like, well, I think it's okay to have new friends. So I think one of the biggest things that is that you have to figure out what type of person you are and who are you getting with. It's best if you find somebody that thinks on the same level as you do so y'all don't even have these problems in, in the first place. Now the question I have for the viewer is if your boyfriend had met a girl at work and you found out he was on the phone with her divulging you guys' personal information, how would you feel about that? That's how I kind of look at situations that I get myself in, that I get myself in when I have questions about whether it's right or wrong. I, I put myself in the shoes of my partner. How would I feel if they were doing that? Would I be oh, totally okay with it? If I would, and I feel like this is a, a situation that is cool for me, and I wouldn't be mad if they did it, then I say, hey, find somebody who feels the same way that you do. Now, if you know damn well you would be pissed, then I think you should take a second, um, look at the decisions that you made okay it's definitely exhausting when you're dealing with somebody that's just insecure and never going to get over anything i don't know if you're still talking to this guy or not um i think what i would do in a situation where i met somebody at work is that i would i would keep my partner updated on this friendship first of all they're not going to pop up months later and i'm best friends with someone um, I'm going to definitely, if I feel like I'm getting really close with this person, I'm definitely going to be inviting my partner to meet the person so that they feel comfortable. And I just think that people handle it the wrong way. If you're like becoming best friends with somebody that your partner never ever meets and you, you spend more time with this person at work than you do with your partner. So yeah, they're probably going to be concerned about that. I think you should definitely be like talking on the phone around your boyfriend so he can see what type of relationship this really is. Not um, behind his back conversations. Cause you never know. This guy, other guy may have had some other into, um, intentions. You never know. Okay. Now on the other hand, for your boyfriend, I think that if you decide to move on from a situation that you're going through with your partner and another person and you say hey i'm gonna try to make this work with you you gotta let it go especially if they're not showing you any signs that they um are lying to you you gotta let it go people we gotta stop bringing up old stuff over and over again for new situations 
So because y'all got an argument, you want to go bring up the old thing that happened a year ago. No, don't do that. If you can't get over it, you, just, you need to tell that person, we, we're not going to work out. Because y'all not going to be able to live a happy existence if you don't trust your, your girlfriend. And if she's constantly worried that you're going to be questioning her about every single thing. Because you're insecure. Okay? So my views on this situation is all over the place as you guys can see. If this was going on with me and Tasha. I would hope that she would be introducing me to any new friends that she had and that I was able to be made comfortable with the friendships and not guessing what's really going on behind my back when she's out at work every single day or talking to these people behind my back and so on and so forth, you know. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions or advice for her, please let her know in the comments. If you've been going through this, let her know. If it's you, good luck. I hope everything works out with um, whatever you want to do. If you're too exhausted, let it go. If you want to try to work it out, hopefully he can get it together. I don't know why he would be tripping if you don't even talk to the guy anymore, but I don't know. I kind of think you are. <laughs> so, I don't know. He's probably suspicious about that. All right, y'all. I'm done. Whew. This is so delicious, y'all. If y'all haven't tried tacos dipped in Alfredo sauce, please do. You're missing out if you haven't. All right, guys, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, subscribe, and share. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you have your post notifications set to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. And until next time, only goodbyes.